Okay. Mm-hmm. Just well, obviously what's your thoughts about last night's um, situation? Um, you know, um, of course, you know, first thing, you know, uh, we want to keep the family, you know, of, of the individual that we lost uh, at, the, at the forefronts of our prayers and our thoughts and, and, and our community as well. Uh, because, you know, the community is suffering from this. Also, those family members, and of course, you know, when these things happen, you know, it has rippling effects across and throughout our entire community, not just the community, but the city also. Um, you know, we see uh, time and time again where uh, you have situations where these, these types of incidents, they come up, but um, tolerance is, is uh, uh, at the forefront and you know, and people go uh, either, you know, they are arrested and still alive and officers and, and law enforcement people, they go home, you know, without the injuries and without the uh, or, or any deaths on either side. And, you know, even in the case of uh, where the guy went in the church, shot up nine people, they still took him to Burger King, you know, after that situation. And so but we don't get that same tolerance, that same level of tolerance with the interaction with law enforcement when it comes to uh, people of color or people from some of these other communities. And, and so, and I think that's important to note, uh, you know, uh, regardless of what uh, the, uh, you know, what facts come out, you know, we want people to live. And, um, and, and that's law enforcement and the individuals that they may be trying to apprehend. And so, uh, and I understand also that you know, law enforcement, they have a job to do, but I also understand that, that you know, there are many cases that are coming before us, uh, you know, through, whether it's through uh, video on social media or, or other cases where people live, you know, through these situations. And so I wasn't there. Um, I wasn't the one on the other side of, of whatever was going on on either side last night. So I want to make sure that we're, we're perfectly clear about that. Uh, but we do want to make sure that, that the investigation is transparent and that the investigation is fair so that, so that uh, you know, whatever justice needs to be uh, uh, or whatever remedies need to come out of it, they, they do come out of it. Do you, are you, a couple things. A, tell me about, uh, do, you, do you know Brandon or what, what have you heard about him? I, I, I don't think, I, I'm not sure if I met him personally, but I know um, uh, some of the people that were in music with him, and um, and uh, I got uh, a call from uh, one of those individuals that was in, in that's, that's in the music business and that was in the music business with him. I know some of the people that did music with them also. What, does he have like a rapper name? Uh, I don't know what it is. You know. Does he have a name or does he, does he just don't? No, I don't know. Oh, you just mm-hmm. know he doesn't just rap. Right. Well, I know I know some of the some of the uh, individuals that did music with him. And in and, 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 and knowing them, I may have met him once or twice okay. in, in that, so, but I just don't remember. Um, c- a couple thoughts. Obviously, mm-hmm. there's a lot of stuff going on on social media mm-hmm. right now. Um, some of which, you know, people are saying, oh, he was a great kid. He was, you know, you know great at Central High. And there's video pictures of him, like, looking very innocent. And then there's other videos he go on social media where he's like, Doing the rapper stuff and the mm-hmm. money and the, so how do you you know some people are like, oh he's a game banger other people are like oh he's a good child so do you any idea how where that's coming from yeah and you know that's that's the that's the dynamics of growing up in communities that we grew up in uh, you can be academically smart and you can still be involved in the music business and 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 being involved in the music business especially the rap business you know there's a persona that that's portrayed by rap artists all the time. And it, but it doesn't mean in, in, in all cases that they're, they're going out and, and, and killing people and this, that, and other. And so that's just a dynamic of growing up in, in communities that we grow up in. And, um, you know, and from what I understand, he, 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 the young man is, went to college and, and you know, you know, graduated from high school. And, but here's the thing to remember, because you know, I want us to be careful about how um, you know, we're, we're trying to paint him. Uh, and, 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 and right, and, and, and I think the important thing uh, to remember is, you know, regardless of what we think or what, what perception we have of this young man, there's a lot of people that loved him. And, you know, and, there, and, there, and he was a family member to a lot of people. He was a friend to a lot of people. He was a father to a, to a child, and I think a child that's being born today. And, and, you know, so at the end of the day, you know, there's somebody 
there's a lot of people that are grieving over the loss of this individual. Um, and, you know, and, and, you know, none of us are perfect. And he may have, uh, you know, I don't know if, if there's some things out there that he's done. I don't know if he has or not. But at the end of the day, you know, there, there's that dynamic of being human. You know, you, you can be human and, 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 and make some mistakes. But at the same time, you can completely love the people that you are, you are trying to support or the people that you're around or your family members. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, there's videos mm -hmm. of him, like, even that day before that, there was an, that earlier yesterday um, where he was, talking bad about the police and smoking blunts and then on other videos he's yeah you know, so like but then it's like two different completely different things so it's like right. is this the same person or did something change in his life or is it that he had two well, you know well, what I mean? well and that and, and and it's interesting because uh you know a couple things one i was i was seeing some video from one of the other stations where they said we we're out here and, and we heard gunshots and and you know you can hear you know six or seven gunshots in the background but you, growing, you got, people don't understand growing up in the communities that we grow up in, number one, the gunshots that they may have heard might not even have anything to do with that scene because that's normal. You know, it's not normal to those that were out there capturing the video and normal to th those that were reporting because they don't, they don't grow up and live in these communities and they don't see that norm. But you ask any of these kids that are around us now, that's the norm for us in, in the communities that we grew up in. You see what I'm saying? And so also the norm is, you know, you, you have those dynamics of, of, of life growing up. You know, these kids can be can be A students in school and go back to still go back to the house. And there, there, there might be, you know, we might have gang members that are brothers and sisters living in the same house. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So and, and, or, or next door or the cousins or, or the father or, the, uh, you know, and so on. So so that's those are some of the dynamics that, that we're dealing with. And kind of it's kind of I think it's good that on one hand that that the, the rest of the world is being able to see this so they can finally try to possibly get, in, get a grasp on the fact that this is what comes with growing up and living in these high risk communities. You can be almost out and get sucked back in just, in, just because you're in survival mode in some of these communities. Mm -hmm. Okay, so same, same kind of, mm -hmm. same question and, and different question. Um, mm -hmm. The, um, obviously, as best we can tell, there were no MPD actual officers involved in the initial incident. They were only brought in, called in on the backside for crowd control. Mm -hmm. You know, so the U.S. Marshal situation. But there's also a lot of misinformation going out there that was. So it's, it's the same thing. There's a lot of. Well, how do you feel about that? Well, it I, I, doesn't I, matter. Mm -hmm. it's two firing. Right. Yeah. The, the thing is this: is you, you have to look at the uh, perception of law enforcement when it comes to these communities, and 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 you know. Uh, unfortunately, in, in this situation, MPD is the face of law enforcement. So it's a lot of misinformation out there about, you know, MPD and, you know, the, the police department shot someone. And these, these individuals that, that are, are responsible for the act are, are not even from this community. And so I, I think it's important to clear that information up. And I think this is important also to understand is that, you know, and, and you know, Memphis is, is, while it's a large city, it's a close-knit city also. And so those those individuals that 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 we lose in these situations are family members of some people right but those officers that got hurt the 25 officers and we're talking about some there's some real injuries out there you know we're talking about people getting hit with bricks and, and so on and so forth but those are also cousins and family members of everybody in the community too you know and so and so that's I think it's important that that you know our community while we want to stay vigilant to make sure that, that transparency and that the investigation is done properly and that we get the truth and, and understanding and to ask what actually happened. But we also have to remember that at the end of the day, when those uh, marshals go back home and leave here, we're, st we're still here in this community and dealing with each other. And, and so I want us to make sure that we, we, we you know, practice while it's a highly emotional situation. Let's be clear on that but that we practice restraint and, and sensibility as we move through this process so that we can get everything that we need, the information that we need. For instance, because of how volatile the situation was last night as I was on the phone with TBI, they couldn't even go in to the scene to begin the investigation because of how volatile the scene was. We don't want that evidence sitting there uh, deteriorating 
because we can't get TBI in there because the scene is volatile. So we're hurting ourselves if we're not practicing restraint and, 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 and sensibility to make sure that we get the truth for this young man and his family. Oh, I didn't know that. So that's what the delay was? That's what the delay was. Mm -hmm. Wow, what, yeah. else do, what else do you know, Antonio? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I'm the state representative, so. Yeah, I know. Right, yeah, yeah. right. So, but, but yeah, but that's, but those are some of the, and, and people, people need to understand the dynamics of, of, of all this, and, it, and it's, it's complex. You know, it's not, it's, it's, it's not just cut and dry. We need to know what happened before. We need to know what happened during. We need to know what happened after. And there is somebody, you know, because you never have incidents like this where somebody is not recording. So, you know, if, they, if there's video out there, I say get it up so 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 or get it to to the law to law enforcement or get it up make sure you make a backup copy before you get it up or get it to anyone else and um so so we can see what happens mm -hmm. so we can start piecing this thing together what and then in terms of how the uh, the you say i don't know why what would you call it call it in terms of what happened mm -hmm. I, I, I would call it unrest unrest so right unrest. right um was that an appropriate response? You, you know, um, it, it's an emotional response. It's an emotional response and, and to, to a tragedy. Mm -hmm. um, um, and, 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 and not just that, but it, it's, it's, a, it's a response to multiple tragedies that have been happening, mm -hmm. you know, um, over the last several years. And, and if you notice, and, 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 and you know, it, it always happens to, to people of color. It always happened to, in most cases, to young black males. And, and you know, rarely someone um, that is not African American, someone that is not male, young, black. And, you know, and again, you know, we see all of the cases of where tolerance in these situations are, you know, considered so that people go home alive. But, but it appears that when it comes to young black males, and not just in Memphis, but across the country, in the United States, that tolerance is not practiced. Any other thoughts? Anything else you want to say? I think you got it. Yeah. yeah well, it was interesting. I was talking to somebody mm -hmm. from the MPD. He said to me this morning, it's kind of like, these folks are from Oxford. It's this federal task force mm -hmm. from Mississippi, like, comes here creates this incident. Right. And then, they, they then they're out. They're out. They're You're right. You're right. And, and, right. And so that's why, that's why I, want, I want people to know, you know, look, w while they're going home and, and sleeping comfortably in their beds, you know, we're still, we still have family members that are on the police department. We still have family members that are here in these communities that are grieving and, 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 and having to, to continue to live this, this nightmare, you know? And so, so we need to work together as a community to make sure that we get, you know, make sure that who, if, if, if wherever the accountability needs to lie, that it's, it's placed there. Gotcha. Any other thoughts? Mm -hmm. Got it.